Well, I'm an Arizona man that cosplays Link. That's it. That's pretty much it. Roll credits. Right, obviously, in all seriousness, there is a lot more to it than that, but that is part of it. But first, let me say, hello, YouTube! I am AZ Link, and you are not, and this is something that I like to call the chat in the hat, because this is something that I'm going to do, where I'm going to just kind of have a seat and talk at you, because there's a lot that goes on in here, and I'd like to share some of it. This isn't like a skit or anything. This isn't scripted. It's just me talking and you maybe listening. I'm gonna try to keep the topics as, I don't know, entertaining, I guess, as possible for as much as just listening to one dude talk can be. So yeah. So this episode is why I am AZ Link and you are not. Now, I start off every YouTube video and every Twitch stream by saying, I am AZ Link and you are not. And this is pretty much true. There's a reason I do this. And many people, they don't get it. So, I'd like to just kind of put my hat in the ring and explain what it is that makes me AZ Link and you not. So, uh, here we go. Now, as I've said before, I am a man in Arizona who cosplays Link. So that's the AZ portion of it. And the Link portion of it is really what gets down to the nitty-gritty, as it were. And to explain this, I need to go way, way back. When I was a kid, I was ADHD, and a lot of people didn't really understand it, especially not as well as they do now. And so I was just a kid with behavioral issues, and a kid that none of the other ones really wanted to hang out with because I was weird. I was different. They didn't get me because no one did. I didn't even get me. Thusly, I had a very small group of friends and I can literally count on one hand the amount of birthday parties that I was invited to when I was growing up. Hell, I could probably count it on one finger. So I was a very lonely child. And you wouldn't know it by looking at me now, but I was also a very quiet child. And I didn't have much. Like, I didn't grow up in privilege. I, well, not any more than what's obvious. I was lower middle class. You know, I wasn't poor, but I also didn't have, like, Disney Channel money. My family just plain couldn't really afford a hell of a lot. So, my video games were like my escape from real life. Because that's one of the only things that I really had. One of these video games was on the Nintendo 64. And this was The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I didn't even have Ocarina of Time for the longest time. It was Majora's Mask for me. Link was this otherworldly thing for me. Because he was this kid, actually my age, maybe a little bit older, that could go on these fantastical adventures and could be the hero that... Oof, everybody wanted to be. And that was a big thing for me. Looking back on it now, he is kind of Mary Sued, and everybody liked him. Not everybody, but most of the people liked him. And I was a kid that no one really liked all that much, so 
yeah, it, it was a thing for me. Link and I would just go on adventures and stuff. Like, it wasn't, like, the kind of relationship that you had to particularly agree on because Link was doing it. Link was doing it anyway. And I was just like, all right, Link, let's see what we're doing today. And we would just go and adventure and explore and, you know, fight things and get our ass kicked. But we'd also kick a bunch of ass as well. So it was just, it was the best time in the world for me. Just hanging out with what was essentially my best friend and just play it together. He didn't know I was there, obviously, but I felt like I was there with him. As I was growing up and I was playing Ocarina of Time once I got it, I watched him grow up and I watched him become this strong, handsome guy and it really really made an effect. I was a kid who got beat up a lot, too. And Link, no matter how hard you hit him, he always got back up. Like, there's an enemy in um, Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess that wields an axe that is literally the size of Link, and it slams it down onto your dome. It could take away half your damn health, and then Link would go flying back 14 feet and immediately stand back up. And that was a thing that really stood out to me. No matter how hard you hit him, he kept coming. And so I started martial arts. I started Taekwondo. And that was great. I loved it. It was amazing for me. I learned how to take punches better. And I learned that you don't fight back unless you absolutely have to. So, after I had started that, I still got beat up a lot, but I could take a lot more. Until eventually I stopped taking it and started, uh, giving it back. So yeah, those were my first experiences with Zelda. And being an ADHD kid, um, the puzzle elements and the exploration and everything, it lit this bastard up. Like, it was just incredible to me. And I had so much fun with it. I played it over and over and over. And one Halloween, I just brought the cartridge for Majora's Mask over to my father's house. And I said, hey, Dad, I want to do that. For Halloween and pointed at Link and he was like okay yeah we could work that so I got a big green t-shirt that my father had and we fashioned another big green t-shirt into his hat and he gave me like a plastic sword and shield that didn't match at all but it worked a pair of uh I don't even remember what they were but they were like just plain little pants they were skin toned I think they may have been like like kids khakis or something but they were skin toned because uh, Kid Link didn't really wear pants I think he wore shorts but whatever and a pair of galoshes and it was it was a terrible little costume but it was something that my father one of my heroes had put together and it was of my hero so it was perfect and i loved it i had so much fun with that not a one person understood it well no no there was one there was one person who as i was out trick-or-treating just kind of leaned in and was like are you link and i went because I, I, this guy, I don't even know him. He, he was a complete stranger. He's still a complete stranger. But he recognized me as my hero. Like, 
I I was completely beside myself. Like, like, you made that kid's day. That's all I can really say. Whoever you are, if you remember 15 years ago, maybe even more, this little kid dressed up as Link in a big-ass green shirt with a big-ass green shirt as a hat. If you remember recognizing him, just so you know, you helped shape who I am today. And... I was my hero, and you... You recognized it, so... I... I can't thank you enough for that. And then, as I grew up, obviously more Zelda titles came out, and I couldn't play all of them because, again, I, I didn't grow up with a lot of money, but I could play a lot of them. And I did. And every title I could get my hands on, I played and I loved. And... I grew up. And I started seeing girls. And I never stopped playing Zelda. And in Super Smash Brothers, <laughs> guess who my main is? Seeing girls also bred a little bit of depression sometimes. And The Legend of Zelda really helped me out of that. And then the big one hit, where I was preparing to buy a ring before things ended. Right before things ended. And honestly, I was not in a very good way, and I needed an escape before I did something, let's call it something drastic and permanent. And so I moved 2,500 miles away to Arizona. And I said to myself, you know what? I need something new, something completely different than anything I've ever done before, really. And I need to do it soon. So I started cosplaying. My first, I guess, official cosplay was Deadpool. But my first passion cosplay was Link. And as soon as I donned that tunic and hat, I knew that I had found me, basically. Because I just felt at home wearing that outfit. Holding the shield and the sword, I managed to find a way to lash them onto my back like Link wears them. And it was great. And I went to Comic Cons and I wouldn't actually talk to anyone because Link doesn't. And when people would speak to me, I would just go, it has it, see it. And that's it. That's how I would speak. I would get my point across, but I would just do the Link grunt. That's all. And I had fun. I had so much fun, and the people around me had so much fun, and it was great, and I met some of my best friends through cosplay, as Link. I met one of my groomsmen through cosplay, as Link, and I loved it. It was, it was great. It's fantastic. Not loved. I love it, because I still do it. It's amazing. And then, um, I joined the Arizona Deadpool Corps. And through that, through that Facebook page, I met another girl. And I started, you know, talking to her just over Facebook because she also cosplayed. She also cosplayed Deadpool and Link. So I'm like, oh, this belongs to you now. Then there was a party going on, a New Year's party at a video game themed bar in Tempe, Arizona. I'm like, okay, I, I still haven't met this girl personally, but she seems wicked cool. And I don't really have any Link cosplay friends around. So let's see if she wants to go. And so I asked her 
And she said yes. And so we went as Lynx because she had her blue tunic dress and I had my whole getup. And so we went with a friend of hers and yeah, it was, it was a fantastic time. Being Link gave me the confidence to honestly just to go because while I wouldn't say that I was particularly crushing, I did like her and I wanted to at least be friends, be a good friend. And so I wanted to have that little boost, I suppose. That helped. That really helped. And then we got to seeing each other. And I actually had just asked her out that night. And, you know, we went to lunch and we hit it off. And then a couple years later, that happened. So... Link more or less found me my wife. And I I honestly don't know how to unpack everything that Link has done for me because there's just there's too much. I guess really what I'm trying to say is that Link has improved my life in many ways. Like, he provided me company when I was a child. He provided me comfort when I was depressed and angry and just at the lowest of my lows. And he pulled me up out of that and helped me with the confidence to meet the woman that would one day be my wife. And our rings have the Hyrule crest on them. Because Link is what brought us together. Deadpool may have been how we met, but Link is what brought us together. And so... I suppose, for all of those reasons, and honestly so many more that I can't even think of right now, that is why I am AZ Link, and you are not. Yeah, that's enough. I can chop that up and shit later, so...